Hello, friends, and welcome to Let's Talk in English on PTS, where we are going to learn something new today. I'm Andrea, and my name is Gabe. And yesterday we met someone interesting. Her name is Olga. Well, we'll find out what happens with Olga today, won't we, Andrea? Yes, that's true. We met Olga. And we found out that she is from a different country. She is studying abroad. Well, friends, let's look at our key words right now. The first one is talent. Talent. Barb can play the piano very well. She has a lot of talent. Chance. Chance. This is your chance. Go talk to that girl now. Overseas. Overseas. Tom has never been overseas. He has never left his own country. Apartment. Apartment. Rebecca lives in a very nice apartment. You should go visit her. Seem. Seem. Kelly seems sad. Is something wrong with her? Well, friends, this is your chance to say these key words again. The first one is talent. Talent. Chance. Chance. Overseas. Overseas. Apartment. Apartment. Seam. Seam. Well, friends, this is our chance to go and talk to that meerkat with a lot of talent. His name is Eddie. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I want to take this chance to say hello, mom. She's living overseas. Oh, that's nice, Eddie. That's Eddie. nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Eddie, can you tell your mom the mission for today? Oh, that's a great idea. Okay, today's mission. Why is Sarah home early today? Why is Sarah home early today? Well, friends, let's find the answer to this mission in today's lesson. Sarah, you're home from camp early today. Yeah, the last day is short.、Uh, Sarah, you should have seen the kids' talent show, Max. They were so cute. This one kid. Oh, hi. Hi, Sarah. This is Olga, my cousin from Germany. She's doing a study abroad program in Chicago. I'm doing a study abroad program in Italy. Really? That is wonderful. That is wonderful. Well, Andrea, why is that so wonderful? Well, Sarah wants to do a study abroad program in Italy, and Olga is doing a study abroad program in Chicago. So. They have something to talk about. Yes, they do. That is wonderful. And you know what else is wonderful, friends? We have found the answer to our mission in this lesson right here. The mission is: Why is Sarah home early today? Why is Sarah home early today? Because it's the last day of camp, and the last day is short. Yes, Sarah comes into the house. She says the last day is short, and she really wants to talk about her experience at camp. She says you should have seen the kids' talent show. She keeps talking and talking and talking, and I'll stop right here because we have a word that we want to teach: the word talent. Talent. The talent that you have is what you can do. And if you have good talent, then you can do something really well. When you say that someone has a lot of talent, 
That means they can do many things very well. Or you can ask someone, what are your talents? It's another way of asking, what are some things that you are good at? And sometimes you meet someone who was born with a talent. You can say they have natural talent. They naturally do something very well without even trying very hard. I can't decide if I should go or not. Go! If you have a chance to go overseas, you should go. Hmm, maybe you're right. Of course I'm right. I'm German. That was a joke. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Max, can Olga and you stay for dinner? Then Olga and I can talk more about study abroad programs. Oh, I'm sure. I'll start cooking. <laughs> well, this is great. Hugh and Olga are going to stay for dinner. That gives Sarah and Olga a chance to talk. Yes, it does. And while they're talking, Olga tells her something. She says, if you have a chance to go overseas, you should go. And we have a chance to learn a key word. Let's learn it together. It is chance. Chance. When you have a chance to do something, that means you can do it. You have an opportunity to do it. You can say you have a good chance. You don't want to not do something that is good. That is a chance for you to do something. I have a chance to go to the party. I will go to the party because I have the chance to do it. Well, Sarah has a chance to go to a study abroad program in Italy. And Olga says if you have a chance to go overseas, you should go. Friends, we have a chance to learn another keyword here. It is overseas. Overseas. Now, if you go overseas, that means you go to another country, away from your country, and you usually have to cross an ocean or a sea to get there. And you could do many things if you go overseas. Some people like to study overseas. Some people like to go overseas because they have a job overseas. So what do you think, Max? Can Olga stay here for a week? I don't know, Hugh. I know I'm asking a lot, but my apartment is just too small. Well, Olga seems like a nice girl, <laughs> and Sarah seems to like her. Max, if you let Olga stay here, I will order your daily specials all week. <laughs> really? <laughs> okay. Olga can stay. So, Andrea, why can't Olga stay with Hugh? Well, Hugh doesn't have anywhere for her to stay. In this conversation, Hugh says his apartment is just too small. Oh, it's not big enough for her to stay there too. But we have learned this key word. That is good news. The word is apartment. Say it again with me. Apartment. An apartment is a place that people stay. It's like a house, but it's not as big as a house. It's an apartment. Yes, you live in an apartment. Maybe you have a big apartment with many rooms or a small apartment with just a few rooms. And Hugh has an apartment, but it's only big enough for one person. Sometimes an apartment will be big enough for more people, but Hugh's apartment is too small. Well, Max says something. He says, Olga seems like a nice girl. And it seems like we should learn that word. The word is seem. Seem. 
If something seems like something else, then you don't know if it really is, but it might be like that other thing. You can say it seems like it's cold outside. I should wear a jacket. Movie Minute. Today on Travel Hualien, we are visiting Huting. Huting means mountain in the Aboriginal language. We traveled 25 kilometers south of Hualien to get to the special area of Huting. We are very close to the Pacific Ocean. At Huting, we find a place that is calm and quiet. You can even hear the sound of the waves from far away. Listen, do you hear them? This place can inspire the artist in you. Huting is famous for its wood art. You can see wood carvings, and you can be inspired by the way wood is naturally shaped. You can see interesting pieces of wood at the wood workshop. Inside the main building, there is a restaurant. You can look at the art all around while you enjoy a delicious meal. They serve traditional Ami's dishes and drinks. Another special part of the restaurant is the furniture. The tables and chairs were carved by hand. Farming is part of Huting's past. Today, you can still see that it was a farming community. When you visit this special place. You can also stay overnight. You can spend a night in a small cabin. You can fall asleep with the natural beauty all around you. Next time you're in Hualien, maybe you can plan a visit. Join us again on Travel Hualien. Conversation replay. Sarah, you're home from camp early today. Yeah, the last day is short. Uh, Sarah, you should have seen the kids' talent show, Max. They were so cute. This one kid. Oh, hi. Hi, Sarah. This is Olga, my cousin from Germany. She's doing a study abroad program in Chicago. I'm doing a study abroad program in Italy. Really? That is wonderful. I can't decide if I should go or not. Go! If you have a chance to go overseas, you should go. Hmm. Maybe you're right. Of course I'm right. I'm German. That was a joke. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Max, can Olga and you stay for dinner? Then Olga and I can talk more about study abroad programs. Oh, I'm uh, sure. I'll start cooking. So, what do you think, Max? Can Olga stay here for a week? I don't know, Hugh. I know I'm asking a lot, but my apartment is just too small. Well, Olga seems like a nice girl, <laughs> and Sarah seems to like her. Max, if you let Olga stay here, I will order your daily specials all week. <laughs> really? <laughs> okay, Olga can stay. Calendar phrase. You know, Olga is pretty, nice, and friendly. Yes, yes. Andrea, I think I will go to Germany. Ah. Uh, okay, Gabe. But how long will you be gone? Well, I can't be gone that long because we need to teach English. But I want to go to Germany. But Gabe. 
will you be gone? Well, I don't know, Andrea, how long I will be gone, but that sounds like today's calendar, calendar phrase. phrase. It is. How long will you be gone? How long will you be gone? If someone is leaving and you want to know how long they will be away, ask this calendar phrase. Well, let's learn more with our calendar phrase skit. How long will you be gone? How long will you be gone? Have a great trip, Marie. Thanks, Jan. How long will you be gone? I'll be gone for a few days. A few days? How many days is that? How long will you be gone? I'll be gone for three days. Oh, so you'll be back on Monday. How long will you be gone? Yes, I'll be back on Monday. Okay, great. See you then. How long will you be gone? How long will you be gone? Well, hello everyone. It's time now for the question of the day with our dear friend and meerkat Eddie. Yes. Hello. Oh yes, the question of the day. Here it is. If you were Max, would you let Olga stay in your house? Why or why not? If you were Max, would you let Olga? Stay in your house. Why, or why not? Yes, I would let Olga stay in my house. She seems like a nice girl, and I always like being a host and having guests at my house. Well, she does seem like a nice girl. Anyway, friends, thank you very much for joining us here today on Let's Talk in English on PTS, where. Learning English can be fun. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye-bye.